Morning guys, we're doing in the Galloway Forest this weekend, it's a bit dreek and dreary but huh, we'll see how it goes today, we'll go out and group for a walk around about here in the forest, we'll do a bit of exploring, I've not been doing this one before so we'll take that. So I hear the rumour says that the, the local guys here are all away exploring far off fields, so I've come down so I've got the, the full Galloway Forest to myself and it's all mines, so I'm going to see what I can find. A lot of wind damage through here. You see them all coming down. It's nice and calm at this way, but that's how I've got this. It's really windy out in the open. But Corey and I are enjoying our walk today. He's doing a bit of exploring down there, so yeah, typical hamster in the road. He wants to go everywhere else. This is the, the hill path which takes you up onto Cor is it Cornish Hill, I think that's called. But we'll keep going around here and heading towards Loch Braden, so we'll see how far along we get. Yeah, we'll keep going around this way a bit. I think this is maybe an hour, half a mile or so up to Loch Brad or the top of Loch Braden looking over. I was hoping that there was going to be a pathway across. I'm not entirely sure. I've not I've no walked these for a long, long time. Yeah. Corey and I are out exploring, see what we can find. If we don't find nothing, at least we've had a good walk. That's just found we've walked around for another couple of miles since so I spoke the last time, but Loch Braden is right in front of us now. So we're going to get the uh, Trail just keep going round. The clouds are just parting now and the, the, the sun's just poking its way through. Absolutely stunning. You get all these views when you're sitting in the house. Nice on a Saturday, get yourself off the couch and get out. Go and explore. Maybe it looks miserable out the window. Get an extra jumper on a pair of gloves. Go out and explore. Because this is exactly what you're missing. So looking over Loch Braden, absolutely stunning. That cracking day, the clouds are just starting to part. It started off this morning, it was really heavy fog or mist and really biting cold. But as the mornings went on, Corey and I have been out and we're walking up now. As I say, we're coming down this trail down the side of Loch Braden. He's absolutely minging, happy. He's got a full mud pack on today. <laughs> but as I say, this is beautiful. The clouds are just starting to drift away. Definitely come back around here in the summertime. Explore a little bit more. Maybe bring the camper van and park up here, and that gives us a central location to go and actually explore the lock itself because it's quite a fair size. I don't know how much. I think somebody told me it's maybe about um, seven or eight miles round trip. I'm not entirely sure, but I'll have a look if I can find any information. I'll put it in the links below. But uh, I looking across here now, it'd be good. Even just going the wee inlet part here is going down and mucking about in the, the canoe. Oh, all, all different things that we're, we're lighting up for, for summer time. The sky just keeps changing every couple of minutes. You can see the, the clouds rolling over the top of the forest up in the hill there. I'm hoping this wee caravan will pick it up. It just keeps changing every couple of minutes. It's lovely. Keep Corrie's mud pack on. We're just off the side track here, looking over off Braden. This bit looks as if it's all been scorched at some point before we, we fire. And the new growth is all starting to come up through. You can see the bottom of all the trees. We've scorched up about a metre high up. See how close I can get to the water side here. But the fire's been right down to the water's edge. There you go. I think this is as far as I'm going to go today. Corey's starting to get a bit tired, his legs sore. Ah, very nice. It's a lot bigger than what I thought it was. That's Loch Braden.
Stinchin Bridge. We did here try and get Corey clean. He's absolutely minging. So we'll go down and down the other side we'll have a look. It's maybe a wee bit easier there this way. He's absolutely minging. We're walking along the road. It's all clay and I'll be doing this damn sight easier down here. Look at these annual bath. Get all that clay off them. Yeah, the final walk by right along to here camp. Yeah, it's been a good morning. Hungry now, time for tea. What we're going to have for lunch, I think. We've got some square sausage and uh, we've got some lynx and black pudding and some haggis. So we'll get the aim on, can't wait. Well, we're back from the walk this morning and we're just getting pitched up for tonight. We're doing it at a wee secret location, doing it at a wee river that we know well. We've got the one tigris smoky hut with us tonight again. So that's going to keep us nice and cosy. So we've just finished putting it up there just now. It's getting dark pretty quick, so I thought I'd just give you a wee look about where we are. So there's the setup the night, that's uh, the original outback stove, which will keep us toasty warm. We've got some nice logs here and some kindlers to get it fired up. But look at this for a view, eh? Can't beat it. A nice wee babbling brook running down by the side there's No idea what the river's called, but it's, it's well smart. We're here just, above, uh, just at the back end of the year, but maybe half a mile further down the river. This is another wee spot I found, which is absolutely perfect. We set of falls just there. This is our location for tonight, so as I say, that's the river there. And that's how close we are to the river. So can I even say we've got a spa? <laughs> We're going to get the fire kindled up. We've got the wee, the bit I was waiting for, for the, the, the snood, as you call it there to protect the tent. It's just a heat reflective, but it's a close up of that. It's just a heat reflective that goes on to it to, to protect the tent from the heat that goes up the chimney. But I couldn't ask for any better in here. It's a cracking location. There's one other van way just through the trees, but uh, it's far enough away for us, so we will not be bothering them any. But absolutely cracking location. So I'm going to get this fired up, and then we'll get the dinner sorted just shortly. Well, that's the fire all sorted up now. It's like toasty hot in here. I don't know if I can pick it up on the camera or not, but that uh, I'll put the light out there and see the glow in the pipe at the back of it. See if it happens. Picking it up there. That's how hot it is in here. Toasty. You can just see in there. So just shortly we'll get the, the dinner on the top of that. But first we're just enjoying the heat. Awesome. Well guys, there's the finished article. So I'm gonna get tucked into this while it's steaming hot. Uh, it's been a raving success with Sun tonight. I really enjoyed making that one up. It was a wee bit of a challenge, but it's absolutely it's turned out spot on. Right, I'll catch up with these guys in a wee bit once I've had this, I'm going to get it well, it's nice and toasty.